Hello guys, can you still use bootstrap designs in Laravel? I see that question pretty often online and when I received one email I decided to answer this as a YouTube video. So here's the excerpt of that email and the person says preferred CSS base is bootstrap by default Laravel is tailwind. How to change that? And this is a pretty common myth or misconception that Laravel by default is tailwind. It uses Tailwind in external additional tools, but by default, Laravel is framework agnostic. So let me demonstrate what to do if you want to use Bootstrap themes or Bootstrap in general in Laravel. So fresh Laravel project, if you do Laravel new something or composer create project Laravel Laravel, in package JSON, it doesn't have any Tailwind. In here in the files, you won't find any Tailwind. If you search finding files in all project, you would see Tailwind only inside of separate tools like Ignition, for example. The only thing that Laravel kind of promotes inside of its functionality is pagination Tailwind, which is by default Tailwind, but you can easily switch that to Bootstrap. So it's a myth and misconception and error to say that Laravel by default is Tailwind. By default, Tailwind is in starter kits of Laravel like Laravel Breeze or Laravel Jetstream. So if you use those, then yes, you are agreeing to use Tailwind because that's their front-end design. But you don't have to use those starter kits. If you want starter kit with Bootstrap, there's still Laravel UI. It is older, it's not even mentioned in Laravel Docs anymore, but it's still maintained, it's still upgraded to new versions. As you can see, February 17th is the latest one. It works with Laravel 10, it still does what it did all the time, like Composer Laravel UI, Composer Require Laravel UI, and then you choose Bootstrap Auth, and then you have the same login and register functionality with Bootstrap theme. And then if you want to use some external bootstrap theme, we've recently launched an article about that describing that step by step. So there's a bootstrap theme about properties. So how to use that in a Laravel project. Again, by default, there's no tailwind in Laravel project. You just need to add the bootstrap CSS where it needs to be in the head. So I will quickly demonstrate you part of this article. So we have main layout. So all the pages would extend layouts app. And in that layouts app, you do whatever. Like, for example, you download the assets of that theme, and then you do this. Just link assets, CSS, style CSS, fonts, images, or whatever you want, based on Bootstrap or whatever other framework you want. Then in this case, you wouldn't even need to run like npm install or npm run dev. You just load the CSS, which is already pre-compiled in those themes of Bootstrap, and you just move on creating other pages like services about contact in this case it's a static set of static pages so just extend the same layouts app which is bootstrap and then in the content you put in your content so yeah this is what i wanted to quickly demonstrate to you that bootstrap is still totally possible to use within laravel if you prefer just use laravel ui for authentication starter kit or use bootstrap theme just by putting them in the head of the html code what do you think? Do you still use Bootstrap? The whole community, kind of majority of the community switched to Tailwind, but Bootstrap is still pretty popular. Maybe you could recommend some themes which are fresh and you would recommend to use, not necessarily in Laravel, but in general. Let's discuss in the comments below. And by the way, this article is a premium article for premium members because it's very long, one 28 minute read because we try to make it step by step. So I will link that in the description below. This is one of the reasons why you should subscribe to Laravel Daily.com yearly or monthly membership. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.